I'm Levi Kaplan, and today I'm presenting my PhD symposium work, Comprehensively Auditing the TikTok Mobile App. Auditing the TikTok algorithm has become extremely important because it has become one of the most popular social media apps, and its current content is largely algorithmically driven, with content on the For You page chosen by their recommendation algorithm. It's important that we understand the factors driving this recommendation algorithm so that we can better understand the potential harms. Prior work from Becker and Ehrman investigated the factors of user interaction that lead to personalization, but their audit was conducted through the TikTok website, which is not how most users interact with the platform, and the website does not deliver ads. Our work aims to expand upon this work by providing techniques for auditing the mobile app, allowing us to understand the app's factors for personalization, as well as how ads are personalized. In order to do this, we use Android emulators to interface with the TikTok mobile app. This allows us to get information like the number of likes, comments, and shares, the description, and the author of the posts. However, this isn't all the metadata that we might want. For example, we might be interested in the video's unique ID, the view counts, or the length of the video, which is not made available on the device's screen and is only found in the video's metadata. In order to gather this metadata, we can intercept the network traffic of the device. Here's a video demonstration of our technique. These four bots are running simultaneously, scrolling autonomously until it finds a video meeting the criteria we programmed it to watch, for example, this cat video on the left. And scrolling past videos it's not interested in, all the while collecting all of the metadata for the video scene. As a proof of concept experiment using the, these techniques, we wondered how user demographics impact the TikTok's recommendation algorithm. We're looking at demographics here because there may be potential algorithmic discrimination based on gender, where users that indicate their gender as male may get served different videos or ads than those that indicate their gender as female, opening up a potential avenue for harm. Additionally, children not being delivered different videos than adults could mean that they're exposed to adult content that's not appropriate for them. To that aim, we asked the following questions. Are users who self-declare their gender as male deliver different videos than users who self-declare as female? Are users who self-declare their age to be 13 deliver different videos from users who say they're 18 or 30? And finally, how do these user demographics impact the advertisements that a user sees? For our experiment looking at user declared gender, we see a lot of noise and no clear patterns that the declared gender impacts the delivery. However, we do see interesting results when looking at age. Each line here represents the similarity of feeds between two devices. The cluster of blue lines at the bottom show the similarity between a device that's 13 years old and the device that's an adult, either 18 or 30. We see they're not all very similar to each other. However, we see that two devices that are adults or two devices that are the same age are delivered feeds much more similar to each other with the feeds of the two 18-year-old devices being the most similar. We see similar results when only looking at the advertisements that are delivered. Again, the ads where one device is an adult and one is a child are very dissimilar, whereas the ads that are the same age or are both adults are much more similar. This suggests that age, and specifically whether or not a user declares themselves to be over or under 18, plays a strong role in the delivery of content on TikTok. Thank you.